Anyway, Jack Dorsey said this. He says, this is going to sound a little bit crazy, but I think the free speech debate is a complete distraction right now. I think the real debate should be about, wait for it, free will. And we feel it right now because we are being programmed. He says, we're being programmed based on what we say we're interested in. And we are told through these discovery mechanisms, these the algorithms, what is interesting. And as we engage and interact with this content, the algorithm continues to build more and more and more of this bias. But the algorithm, even if it's open source, is effectively a black box. Now, yes, I, I completely agree with Jack. A, a more fundamental question before we get to free speech has to be free will. Do we have it or don't we have it? And if we do have it, which I think we do. And I'm not sure what Jack's opinion is. Does Jack think we have it? Then are we exercising it? And too many people, the answer for that is no. But that is maybe the most important philosophical fundamental question out there. Do we have it and are people exercising it? One is a philosophical question. The other is more of a political, sociological question, cultural question. Because... If, we're, if we don't have free will, then we're being programmed by AI, which is programmed by human beings who don't have free will. So that's like a, a, a massive contradiction. How did they do the program? How did they gain the knowledge? How could they apply their reason when clearly, it, when they don't have free will? So... Um, it, 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 but if they do have free will, then are they exercising it? Which I think is the more interesting question, right? Because we all know we have free will, but are people actually using it? And I think, I think there's something to what Jack says in a sense that I think too many people in our world are not using their free will. They might use it to some extent, like he, he even says, um, we're being programmed based on what we say we're interested in. But what we say we're interested in is might be based on our free will or might be based on, you know, somebody, somebody else feeding us this. But then are we being critical? Are we being thoughtful? Are we challenging what we are receiving? Are we engaging our free will to think, to, 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 to evaluate, to observe reality, to integrate? To, 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 are we being rational? And the answer to that is not obvious. Uh, in terms of, not in terms of any one particular person, but in terms of generally, right? So um, uh, it is an interesting question. To what extent are uh, people today going to be completely reliant on sources like AI? Right now it's on Google or whatever without critically thinking about them, without challenging uh, them, without using their own minds and their own knowledge, without checking alternative sources and just relying on one. I mean, with Google, you get a list of, of, of answers, a list of websites. Let's say you want to, I want the definition of capitalism. Well, you'll get pages and pages of different sites that define capitalism differently, and you can scan them and look and see what makes sense. But with AI, you ask, well, what's the definition of capitalism? It'll just give you an answer. And it's done. And is that it? That is a, is, is a real question. I, you know, it's, it, it's scary in many respects. It's, it's not that AI is scary. What is scary is... What is scary is how people are going to use it. And if they use it as a new authority, then it is going to scare you. And you're going to have the woke AI and the non-woke AI, right? Woke AI and non-woke AI. And that's going to be the determining factor uh, of which AI you buy. You buy the AI that's consistent with your tribe. 
So AI will be tribalist. I mean, AI can't be objective because there is no such thing, right? Uh, to be objective, you have to be human. But people, I mean, we're tribal right now, and if we use AI to entrench our tribalism, God help us. We'll talk about atheism later, but for now, God help us.